This is what makes narcissists obsessed and begging to return. I appreciate your interest in following next installments of Narcissist and Karma. To all the viewers out there, my greetings. I would be unable to maintain my channel without your support. We really appreciate you watching this video. If you enjoy the content, please consider subscribing and enabling push notifications. Let's get started then. The narcissist may still try to woo you back despite their abusive behavior. Even if you start a new life, you won't be able to easily escape them because they are masters at manipulating people's emotions and changing the direction of events. It's a given that narcissists just care about themselves. No one ever had a fulfilled life without occasionally challenging themselves to do more. That you do notice them is what's important, not why. If you view this or another video explaining how to spot a narcissist before they do any damage to you, you might be able to avoid being victimized by one. If you've ever had to deal with a former narcissist who is desperate to get back in touch with you, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Keep a tight eye on this, please. If they can successfully play their roles after being exposed, narcissists may find themselves welcomed back with open arms. In today's piece, we'll talk about the causes and consequences of encounters with narcissists who have returned to our life. Keep in mind, first and foremost, that reintroducing them into your life will only result in the same destructive loop, albeit with a new group of people and a different outward appearance. By not engaging with the narcissist at all, we cut off any chance of reconnection. The effort to defame you and turn the public against you has likely not ended. Sometimes it's impossible to stay out of each other's business when it comes to raising kids. Irrational aversion to zero touch exists too. It's not always a good idea to cut off all communication, no matter what the situation is. Nevertheless, the narcissist still poses a danger even after all this. Establishing and upholding firm boundaries is a typical tactic for avoiding narcissists, and it can be successful. If a narcissist finds a way to contact you, they will waste no time in trying to mend fences. Next question, what exactly are they looking for? If not for you, why would the narcissist want to make contact again? Do you feel love for one another? For the sake of concision, I shall limit my discussion to these two points. To begin, get something that narcissists will find desirable. Narcissists will try to re-enter your life if they feel they may gain something from you. Another typical excuse is to put an end to the misery they've brought into your life. You're going to have a harder time getting better because of them. Even if they have previously been successful in removing you or them, once they perceive that you are standing on your own two feet, they will strive to pull you back down to their level once again. Narcissists have a well-deserved reputation for their tenacity in seeking money rewards at the expense of others. They are well aware that they will need to make significant efforts in order to overcome the obstacles you have set before them. Remember that your rivals will likely employ these strategies. Their whole routine is meant to make us feel bad for these unfortunate souls. They want you to feel bad for them so they can get you to reconsider permanently cutting ties with them. Narcissists frequently manufacture or exaggerate catastrophes to gain sympathy from those around them. When pressed for an explanation, they frequently cite health risks as the root cause. They could pretend to be dying by exaggerating their symptoms or using some other form of deception. Narcissists might manipulate your emotions even further by taking advantage of your grief over a loved one's death. They would act in a way consistent with utter dysfunction. At a funeral, children will do anything to make headlines. To successfully depict the narcissist as weak, defenseless, and ignorant, vulnerability is essential. Playing the nice card and being likable when they aren't is the narcissist's favorite prank. They would appear subservient and helpful till they suddenly attacked you. Aside from that, they'll do everything it takes to make you feel at ease and meet your needs. That's the story your parents told you, to put it another way. To keep playing with your sense of security, narcissists will have you feel that they no longer pose any danger. In the event that you are a primary source, they will keep coming back to you as long as you have what they want. There's still time for them to maintain their, I've changed front. Making a bold claim that things will be different this time. They're serious about demonstrating their newfound wisdom to anyone who could benefit from it. They will say and do anything to convince you that they have undergone a radical transformation. 
Many narcissists actually do make efforts to better themselves, so it's not an unjustified assumption to make. As soon as things begin to improve, they go back to their old habits. As soon as the narcissist regains a sense of security, this repressed urge will reawaken. I've shown in my films that narcissists are the way they are because they're searching for happiness at any cost. The moral repercussions must also be taken into account. All the promises in the world won't save you from a narcissist who is a master liar and will convince you that you're being oversensitive. You should give a narcissist a chance to improve, but you shouldn't force them. Just now, you heard some real-life scenarios in which narcissists reappeared. Putting on an act as if they have changed, being pleasant to make you feel better, giving in to your weaknesses, and attempting to convince you that things will be different this time. Narcissists have trouble letting go of relationships even when they are no longer beneficial to them. You have no choice but to stay if the narcissist is in command. Therefore, they are making every effort to regain your trust. It's important to remember that narcissists aren't the sort to apologize when given the chance. There is no happy ending for you since they see it as a chance to complete their evil plans. If no contact is absolutely out of the question, proceed with caution while maintaining firm limits. Seek immediate assistance if you worry that your relationship with the narcissist is negatively impacting your emotional or physical well-being. The wisest course of action is to pause for a moment of mental regrouping. In any case, I hope you learned something from this. The current video has completed. If you have any other inquiries, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Leave a comment here to share your thoughts and opinions with the world. Please click the subscribe button and enable the bell so that you are notified when new videos are uploaded. I value your attention to my point of view. And as always, have a nice day everyone.